Ben here from Moderate Cycling. Thanks for joining us for some footage and a recap of the Barrel Classic 2023. The Barrel Classic is an annual road race uh, which draws a whole heap of people from around the country to Barrel, a small town just south of Sydney. It's a really well run event and an enjoyable day out. This year was my first year doing the Maxi course which is a 150 kilometer course although this year it was only 142. Uh, in the past two years I've done a 120 kilometer course. I rode today with my buddy Joe. Uh, link below for his channel Loud Kid Day. Before the event we had a phone call uh, where we talked about what our plan was going to be for the day. Uh, I've been doing a lot of structured training recently so I was pretty eager to push hard. My climbing has been a little bit stronger than Joe's but we agreed to push hard up in the first comm, uh, regroup and try and stick together as long as we could. Unfortunately we arrived late uh, which meant that we were starting in one of the back waves. This meant we were going to have to work pretty hard at the beginning to, to catch up and to find a group that we could make pace with. After pushing pretty hard through the maxi course only loop, uh, we'd managed to catch about three or four different groups, uh, but unfortunately weren't able to find anyone to keep pace with yet. found ourselves at the bottom of the first king of the mountain. I pushed pretty hard into the 10% gradients. I was happy with my performance but unfortunately I dropped my riding buddy. After riding tempo for a little while and noticing the participants of the other courses filtering through, I was starting to wonder whether or not Joe was going to catch up. But he put in a pretty solid effort and it was not long later that I found him on my wheel. From this point on we started to collect a little bit of a group uh, and people were starting to take some turns. This was when at the bottom of a gully we met our third riding buddy Bryn. We later found out that he'd experienced a flat and he'd lost his group from one of the earlier flights. The three of us started rolling turns and as we went through the first rest stop this is where we really started to amass a crew behind us. the second rest stop we considered rolling through but I could see the fatigue building across our group. The rest stop was quick, no more than five minutes, refilling bottles, getting in, getting out. Not long after the rest stop we picked up the guy in red. I still don't really know who he is, but he was a big guy and was solid when taking his turn on the front. A few of us continued to take turns and somewhere in the middle I lost Joe.
Bombing this hill was pretty gnarly. There were some pretty strong crosswinds blowing through. Fortunately, I was able to hang on. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for all, with some pretty bad accidents through some of the tight corners. I had some legs left, so I launched from the group. It was pretty crowded on the climb and took a lot of out of the saddle work to try and cut through. But I made it up in good time and rolled through the final rest stop on my way into the finish line. From here it was a straight shot into town. As I rounded the suburban streets on the way into the finish line, I continued to push as hard as I could. I finished the day at a touch over four and a half hours. I was pretty happy with this outcome. I think that I could have ended with a much better time had we have been able to start at the front of the pack. Big shout out to my buddy Joe. I know I pushed pretty hard today and he hung on as much as he could. Uh, nice to meet some people like Bryn and the guy in red. Uh, great riding with, with the crew. All in all, this was a really well organized event and I would recommend it to anybody. Hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, this is Ben from Moderate Cycling. See ya.